Hello, my name is Mariana Hill. I'm the director of ULI, a short film that is in generation section. And that's all. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the 38th Teddy Award. My name is Jan-Felix Wuttig and today I'm here with Mariana Gilirios to talk about her film Uli. Mariana, so glad you could make it. Thank you for being here. Thank and you. Thank you so much for the film. It's a, it's a very beautiful and intricate and tender film um, about Rafaela and her sister who, who accompanies her sister and moves through the day and sort of, um, in a way, finds her own place. Um, maybe you could start with telling me how the idea for the film came to be. Okay, it was like, um, the idea came from different places, but I had like a, one main, um, how do you say, uh, like memory, mm -hmm. yes. It, like. It all comes from a memory of my childhood. Mm -hmm. Like, it was like when I was a kid, the other kids used to ask me a lot if I was a girl or a, yeah. or a boy. Yeah. So, and once it was like I was taking a bath naked with my brother, but I was like three years old, and some other guy, like um, some other guys' kids were asking me like yeah. Yeah. that way. And I, I also like, I remember to feel ashamed by like the first time, like why I'm feeling ashamed. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. So I got the, this memory and I wanted to write, write about that. And then uh, like a lot of years later, I was just um, talking with my friends and the producer, the other producer from Pablo and uh, Laura, who is the, the casting di director mm -hmm. and we were talking about like uh, I want to like I wanted to write something for Laura who is also actress yeah. and we were discussing uh, what could that be and I we I thought about the this idea of yeah. two sisters and like like going outside the, her houses their their houses and and that that's what like the beginning of this writing then it just uh, i was just deep like developing the story and it just transformed in in uli that is like different thing from from the like from the start that is just like a little moment yeah. in the in the movie yeah mm -hmm. exactly i was going to ask about that because i one of the things that i loved about uli is that there are all these little details, for example, that, that kind of conversation when she's in the pool and she gets asked that question and you have the feeling that, that, that you know, there's a, there's a sense of, you know, that there's somehow kind of, it hurts, but then the, the moment is sort of left and, and, but the film is building on top of that. Um, how did you kind of frame the film? Was it, how did you write the story or how did you choose which scenes to use? I, like the first part I wrote of the story was like the beginning, like the part that occur occurs in the girls' houses, in the, in the girls' house. And I was, like uh, it, it starts and I was thinking that maybe the main character was uh, the older sister. Mm -hmm. But then like I was more interest, interested in, in the little one because I don't know this, 
moment of the life when you are like becoming like adolescence yeah. is like something interesting for me. But I also wanted to write a story, like write a story where the the people and the how do you say uh, like <laughs> the spectadores, the public. Yeah. Like I wanted to to write this story where the public uh, didn't know who was the main character. Like mm -hmm. they sh all share the like the main like the the story. Mm -hmm. So it begins with the older sister, and then it's like you continue with the little one. Yeah. yeah. But it then uh, appears this guy. Yeah, yeah. And then okay, she's uh, again alone. Yeah. And then it's Uli in the in in, in the mm -hmm. scene. So I wanted, I liked that sense of you don't know who is the main character, yeah, but sure. it's Rafaela. But yeah, like yeah. you don't know. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, you sort of have that sense where you don't, you're not really sure whether it's the two of them, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be sort of like a like a sort of a duo, and they are gonna go together through the film or whether they are going to go somewhere and the story is going to pick up there with the third character. Mm -hmm. um, and I think one of the, 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 um, the, the powers of the film is that your two main characters in that sense have such a chemistry, you know. Um, how did you work with the two of them? Was there a way? T did they know each other beforehand, or you mean uh, the sisters or Uli and Rafaela? Uh, the sisters. Yeah. Uh, nobody of them knew knew mm -hmm. in between them before. Like they, we all know in the uh, making the movie. Mm -hmm. But I already known uh, Laura. Yeah. Uh, no, Laura, no. Laura is the cat. Is, um, Amelia, mm -hmm. who is coming. Uh, she's going to attend to the festival. Who is the older sister? Because I have worked with, with her before. She's an actress, like, she professional. Mm -hmm. She's the only one. And she's very talented, so I wanted to, to work with her. Yeah. And then uh, the little one is not an actress. So we found. We found her making the casting process with Laura, like in the street, and mm -hmm. we were like captive with her. Okay. And then we make a lot of rehearsal, mm -hmm. and they didn't have like a, a lot of chemistry at the beginning, mm -hmm. but at the end, uh, they were like re like real sisters because yeah. they was <laughs> like the older and the <laughs> uh, and the younger, yeah. and they have like uh, uh, how do you say like. They meet, but they also don't like agree in some things. Yeah, so yeah. it was perfect to make that relationship yeah. be like real. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's also some, you know, some some family conflict there be between you know the older sister and the younger sister, and the younger sister doesn't understand, and the older sister is sort of like, uh, I would rather not, you know, uh, be in charge of you right now because I I want to meet somebody. There's also a lot of, when we get to meet Uli, there's a lot of tenderness between Uli and Rafaela. Uh, in the scene where we see uh, Rafaela cutting Uli's hair. Um, how did you shoot that scene? What was it like? Because it, it seems to me that Rafaela is sort of finding a place, a, a sort of safe place or a place to kind of look at her identity in a new way. Yes, it was like the more like uh, difficult scenes to shoot for me, but also like the most, um, like I was very excited about it. Like I didn't, because it, it was also like, I'm going to cut the hair, the hair of Uli. So mm. it, it has to be like, it, it's going to be like, La, it's going to be what it's going to be because yeah, yeah, yeah. the hair is going to be yeah. there anymore. Yeah. So it was also like um, Rafaela didn't know that she was going to cut the hair, but yeah. it was like kind of a surprise. Yeah. Uli, of course, knew that that we were going to cut the hair, and I don't know it was 
between Uli and Rafaela was that there were like a very good relation. Mm -hmm. They became friends and mm -hmm. like they were like, they, yes, they enjoyed the time together. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it was very nice for the, yeah. for the, for the short film. And we did it like very intimate way. Like I tried to, in, in the moment we, when we were going to shoot, uh, there were the least persons in the in in the set, mm -hmm. like even the art director, who was like telling me, "No, I have to be here." And I was <laughs> like, "No, no, you you cannot <laughs> be here. Like leave." Yeah, and it was very very like intimate, and we were we could like two times just to because we need to change the yeah. the. El plan. <laughs> we we need to change the um, the plane. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you say it. The the the, um, the, um, the schedule. The or? el sí el encuadre. Uh, okay. <laughs> the um the object of the camera. You mean? Yes. The, uh, yes, yeah. and we need to to move the camera, but mm -hmm. we did it just like two times, and then we just let the thing happen. Yeah. Because and I I th I was thinking that maybe maybe Yuli was going to cry because she was very like close to her with 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 her hair okay. yeah and she wanted to do it but she was like very moved about that yeah. and i thought that she was going to cry but it didn't happen so and it was okay and i thought if she cries it's going to be okay also yeah like yeah. i don't know why it's going to happen but i'm going to shoot what happened yeah, yeah. and that's what we did it and it was beautiful i think we were thinking even like if she cries, maybe it's going to be stronger, it's going to be good, but mm -hmm. it, she was very relaxed and she, yeah. she and it was okay. Yeah, and I think that, well. that translated very nicely in the scene because it's a, it's a scene that is very tender and very powerful in that sense because you feel the bond between Rafaela and Uli and this, this gesture that she's, you know, she's doing something for her, something that has to do with her body and something that is obviously very important to her, as, as important as hair is. Um, there's also, which is a different, different aspect of the film, the scene with the father later on who comes in and kind of inquires about Alex and uh, he kind of brings the dog and, and Uli is very sort of, you know, very abrasive and she goes, oh, okay, please mm -hmm. leave and take the dog with you. Um, what to you was the meaning or the significance or what did you want to show with that scene? Like the movie is also about, um, a movie about like kids alone. Like it's very used, I don't know, I think, it, I was going to say in Colombia, but I think it's around the world, like in these times because parents has to work or because normally uh, in Colombia happens a lot <laughs> like the families are like uh, very um, uh, not united like dispersed I don't know how you say it, like and also, and the masculine figure like it's all it's often like disappear like yeah. it's not there so I wanted to to show that to show that like these kids alone, and then like this eruption of the of the father, mm -hmm. but he's not very like sensitive I think he yeah. because he that cannot understand maybe because I don't know his generation or because he's a man of a different age and in a culture like like ours that is yeah. very tough, and so. Like it was my my intention to just show that and to show a little bit, but just a bit like the desire maybe of having this like these bonds with somebody yeah. that yeah. is the father or, or or the mother or whatever. Yeah. Like yes, this affection, affection, bonds that like as like like sons we we have. Mm -hmm. Like we maybe we don't want to have them, but we have. We do. Yeah. We do. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Um, there's also kind of that 
beautiful scene where Rafaela goes to the roof and she looks across the city and she sees all the cats on the tin roofs and the dog comes up and, and sort of the, the cutting suggests that the dog is talking to her, um, <laughs> which, which I found quite beautiful. Um, what was the idea behind that scene, you know? Because the rest of the film feels very real in a sense. And then obviously, all of a sudden, you have that scene of the dog talking or of the dog explaining something. What was your idea behind including it in the film? Yes. Um, at the beginning, it, when I was writing, I thought that it was going to be like um, some misunderstanding because the dog wasn't in that roof, but in the um, Uli's room. And she was very, like, uh, looking at the dog. Mm -hmm. And somebody else dog, and, like, public will think that it was the dog, yeah. also Rafaela, but no, yeah. it was Uli. It yeah. was at the beginning. But when I showed the um, script to some friends, they were, they also had the confusion. And they told me, like, this is nice, the yeah. dog is talking. <laughs> and I was thinking, like, it would be nice that yeah. the dog talks. Yeah. But, and then I just explored that possibility. And I, and I decided to do it that way because I think that the short film, it's about communication. Mm -hmm. Like, but communication, like sharing with, with others. Mm -hmm. Like, not necessarily, not necessarily talking, mm -hmm. uh, or yes, not necessarily talking, but more like, to be with other in a space mm -hmm. and uh, to recognize the yeah. others, yeah. like yeah. like in Spanish we said not no for no, but conocer, cono mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's, it's a beautiful word because it had this like recognize that yeah. it's something about cognition, and I think it's like communication is like to cognite. Co to have a cognition with other about the world it's around yeah. and yeah. share a space. Yeah. And I thought that, okay, this is about communication and about being with others and about yeah. possibilities and what the thing that, uh, yes, the possibilities of everything can happen yeah. and the possibility to communicate with other beings that not necessarily are humans, yeah. like, like we need more communication with the world, I think, yeah, with yeah. the others, and with the planet, with the plants, with the animals mm -hmm. as well, and with the kids. Yeah, true. It it uh, and it works well in the film because it feels very much that there are no real borders to Rafaela's urge to explore. You know, she just kind of moves freely and from person to person as well, and there's always a kind of communication happening. And that's, that's a re very, very beautiful aspect of the film. Um, as I understand, you are right now working on a film project called Otro Jardin. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, is there sort of something you took away from Uli that you are now using for your next project or something that you might have observed there that you are using in the future? Yes, of course. I think they, they both, they both, Otro Jardin and Uli share like a very similar universe. Mm -hmm. It's like Otro Jardin is it, a movie uh, it, that occurs in 90s in Colombia, which, which is a very different like epoch, different, very particular moment mm -hmm. of our history. But it's also about teenagers and it's also about childhood. Mm -hmm. And I have as well a, a main character that it's a girl, like, like Rafaela, very, mm -hmm. very similar. And I also wanted to shoot Uli because I wanted to see that character like being around. Yeah. So I would say that it's very similar yeah, yeah. main character. Yeah. So I learned a lot about Uli, like shooting, like, uh, n not only technically, but also like things that I need to, like I saw there that I can just use for Otro Jardin mm -hmm. um, for the story and in the moment that w when yeah. we shoot. 
eh, ojalá pronto, <laughs> es, I said like, <laughs> I wish it's going to happen soon, mm -hmm. and, but I, I, I don't know if I can tell something like particular like, to you, but mm -hmm. it's of course the same, like the, the same moves, yeah, I yeah, think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, then thank you very much, and I wish you all the best for the upcoming premiere, and um, thank you again for being here and taking the time, and I wish you all the best for the Berlinale. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. <laughs>